What's going on everybody, Dids here. Today we are going to be talking about our first transition pack for your YouTube videos that I am releasing so that you guys can enhance your YouTube videos just as much as I have been lately. I've been getting a lot of compliments on the transitions that I've been using in my vlogs and in my YouTube videos, and I went through and spent most of the day creating a few transitions that you guys can use only using adjustment layers. There's a lot of transitions that I'm going to be branching out with within After Effects, as well as Premiere transitions that don't use adjustment layers, but for today's transition pack, we are going to be doing transitions that only use adjustment layers. So let's dive right in to the Adobe Premiere space. We have four sequence clips that we are gonna be utilizing to showcase these transitions. Now, the first one, a lot of these clips are gonna be recognizable from the most recent vlog, and I also record a few clips in addition to get a few points across and create a few situations of which these transitions would be used. So I'm going to put a link in the description for this transition pack. It's going to be completely free. You can donate or share as you whim, but this is going to be a completely free transitions pack. There are no add-ons being used. I have these as easy to describe and as easy to use as possible. And we're going to dive right in. So. This first one in the vlog that I just posted the other day, which you can see in the card above, is just a simple cut. This is a very hard cut on a on a beat of a song, and I'm going to be going over transitions that are just beats, or in the case of this later one, I cut a little bit of the clip here, but this was the one where I used my hand to create the transition. I'm going to go over a video specifically about how you can use music and film techniques to create really solid transitions without needing to do any editing. But that's not the case for today's video. So with this transition, this is gonna be a left to right transition. We are going to drop it over the adjustment layer. I have these pre-made. I have these in frames as to how I use them and how I suggest you use them, simply because I think that using them in a quick fashion or in a 10 frame fashion over a six frame fashion, kind of changes the mood of the transition. Now obviously you can change these and work with them as you desire, but here is how the first one looks. Really nice and easy. This is when I switch from running toward the camera to running away from the camera. So it almost gives that feel as if the there's somebody operating the camera and it's just whoosh gets the, the camera gets turned from one side to the other. So really there's not any sort of knowledge that this is a transition and it looks very much like somebody's actually turning the camera. Moving on to the second transition, this is one that I'm really super stoked about because it almost gives a bit of a glitchy feel to it without being any sort of glitch. Now, when I get into After Effects, I'm going to go into a lot of RGB split, and RGB split is possible in Premiere, but not without creating three clips of the same frame or of the same sequence or video that you then change the channel to, and I'm going to get into that in a whole different video, but I wanted something that was kind of glitchy that didn't require any RGB split, still looks really solid with any transition or with any change of clips, and it almost looks glitchy just because of how fast it's going. So I call this one the rollover glitch transition because it is rolling the clip. The clip is rolling over itself constantly, probably about 10 to 15 times in this six frame period. But what you get, since it's only capturing 10 frames in this case, is little glimpses of that. So it almost looks like it slows down here and then stops because of the speed that I have it at of where it lies from one frame to the next, and then it slowly brings into the next clip. So here it is fast. You can see it, especially here. Now obviously, how these transitions will be used and how effective they will become is how you film and how you use them in what you have filmed. So obviously in this case, you can see the green of the audio clip here in this Premiere clip, which makes it look cooler because there's just that other color that your eye kind of catches to and then all of a sudden, boom, it's gone and on the bottom again. So it looks a little bit glitchy in this instance. So obviously that will change and vary depending upon how you utilize these clips or how you film or how you want your transitions to be shown in whatever video you're creating. The next form of transition is going to be a blur warp transition. Now this is kind of a cool one that really emulates the CC lens effect in After Effects. Now obviously there's a lens distortion which it is being used in Premiere, but it reminds me of back in the day when I was doing Call of Duty edits in After Effects and all I used was CC lens for every gunshot or whatever the case was. So this is exactly how it looks. Vlogging might not be the best use case for this, but I wanted to showcase this because I think this is a really 
still effective way to transition from one clip to the next. So it looks really nice, it kind of gives that barrel distortion, and it kind of looks like the clip is being wrapped around your face a little bit. So if you can, this is going to be way too in depth of an explanation, but if you can picture your face and how it kind of, like, so if you imagine a light straight in front of your face, how that light rolls off. Imagine that same thing happening with the video frame, it kind of rolls off. Now obviously you can duplicate, change this, you can make more distortion, less distortion. I have, I believe, three cases of lens distortion happening here. You can remove those, you can add those. All of these transitions are customizable to your liking. Moving on to the fourth and final transition. This one is just your simple zoom in to out. There's a lot of zoom ins, there's a lot of zoom outs on the internet, but not a lot that do both. So I created one today that gives you a little bit of the zoom in with a lot of bit of the zoom out. So it's kind of, instead of it going out and you have to mirror and then you kind of have to fake the simulation that yes, this is still the same frame but it's zoomed out so far, I wanted something that didn't have any of that false replication. I want something that's just straight in your face and then straight out of your face. So in this case it's great because it's an action scene so it's coming in. I'm coming at the camera, I'm going away from the camera. So a lot of what I want you guys to use these transitions for is learning how to then create these within film techniques, which again, I'm gonna get into a whole spew of videos about film techniques and other transition techniques that don't require any editing in future videos. But for this instance, this is something that can be used very effectively to just showcase any sort of transition and movement to or away from the camera. And I think that all of these are gonna be very effective and all of these are gonna be things that you can use in your own videos, really no matter what you do. These aren't specific to vlogs, these aren't specific to cinematics of, of your equipment at home or whatever. I mean, I give you three different use cases here, be it running or exercise or fitness or action, product overviews, be it just talking to a camera and, and you know, again with the action. But those are gonna be some transitions that I think everybody can use to the fullest and to their utmost advantage. And I hope that you guys learned something from this video and I hope to see you guys using some of these or even adding to or changing a little bit of what I've made here to create something even better for your use case. So please comment below which one you like the most, which one you want to use in your videos, which one you plan to use in your videos. If you do use these in your videos, please send me a link to it or let me know in some way, shape or form. All of the links for this transition pack and how you can get in touch with me if you do use these packs are down in the description. I highly suggest that you check them out. It's just a simple download for you to use and I hope that you can use these in your videos and start to learn about film techniques to then create the effect of the transition because if how you use your transitions and what clips you're using them over make a difference and I hope that this gives you some options to then go out and, and maybe think about the transition you want to use before the shot gets taken. Or you take the shot and then think, I can use this with this transition. Let's do a second take of this shot. So use these sparingly. Use them how you want. Edit them how you want. Let me know how you use them. And until next time, I will see you on the internet.